Hello, friend. Here we are. We are going to do some circuitry information. Um, and I'm going to start with, of course, the 41st gate, because that's really what it's all about. Um, so the 4130 is the channel of recognition. It is a design of focused energy. So as you see, here it is. Um, and hmm, anything in the root is a fuel. There is uh, stress is 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 only a bad thing if we're operating incorrectly. Stress is a really good thing when we're operating correctly because we move that into a fuel. So the fuel here is to feel or not. Okay, it's trying to this forty first gate. Anything in the root is trying to get to the throat. Anything in the head center is trying to get to the throat. There's this pressure, pressure sandwich to manifest, okay? And the 41st is our initiator codon. If you go back in the videos, you'll see where um, the 41st gate is, is the start of everything. So every time there's a new genetic um, code that needs to be written in our DNA, there is a uh, stop codon that happens, and then there's the initiator codon. And the 41st is the initi initiator codon. So it is like, um, you know, a capital uh, in, in a sentence. We're beginning something. There is this period for an end, uh, and there's this um, capital letter to say, okay, we're starting a new sentence. There's something new happening here. The 41 up to the 30... Uh, the uh, 36 over to the 35, the 53, 42, the 29, 46, the 13, 33. These are, this is all the um, human experiential way. This is the, the abstract way that, that humans operate. So today we're going to just look at the 4130. So all experiences come out of the 41. And all possibilities are stored within it. So we get so caught up in our heads. We're trying to figure this shit out. We're trying to figure out our future. We're trying to figure out why we had what we had in the past. We're so distracted going both ways that we totally forget to be right here. It isn't our job or the mind's job or the conditioned mind's job, however you want to indicate that. It, it's not our job to figure out the possibilities. There is a higher aspect here of ourselves that knows this game. And for every single decision that we make, every single decision, there's doors opening and closing constantly. So don't let any coach tell you that just because this decision, you know, you didn't make this decision, doesn't mean that that door is like closed forever. No, it's just that the infinite possibilities are like, okay, well, we'll go this way. You know, it might take you to the exact same place, but it looks a little different. So something that I heard, and you know, be darned if I can remember who it is, it's probably um, Abraham, who is channeled through Esther Hicks. But why would you want to second guess? Why would you want to try to figure this shit out from your limited perspective? Why wouldn't you let the higher energetic being that, that you are, from the bird's eye view, or even farther than the bird's eye view, guide this process for you? There's a, a gazillion possibilities all the time, all the time. So why would you want to second guess the capabilities of the, of the universe and of the energies? Why would you want to second guess that? Why would you want to get in the way? Get your mind out of the way so that you can absolutely have all the experiences you're built to have. So the 30 has the potential for awareness to recognize a feeling or not. The 4130 and, and the rest of the circuitry that I indicated is the abstract experiential way. 
okay? It gets to manifest. It gets to manifest because there's motors involved here. We are manifesting on this side. So as the fantasy, so think about this, fantasy. So, you know, why do people daydream? What do they meditate? What do they just relax into the fact that it's okay to have fantasies? It's totally cool. And then just let go and let the higher powers open all the doors, close some windows, close some doors, open some more doors. Just relax into that process. So as the fantasy of the 41 moves up to the 30, it becomes desire. So the essence of being human is to be driven by desire. Like, what are your desires? Even if you don't have this defined in your body graph, that doesn't matter. What, it matters, what matters is the fact that, you know, if it is defined in your body graph, it's a limited perspective, okay? It's a limitation that's within you. That's not good, bad, ugly, whatever. It isn't. If it's undefined, what you'll notice is that there's a great amount of wisdom there. There's a ton of wisdom there. So the 41 has this hunger. This is our, the start of our hunger process. There's a hunger to have a new experience. Now, if you, if you understand human design and you understand the emotional wave that's attached here to this 4130 and the 3635, if you understand the emotional wave that's attached here, it's one of expectations, crashing, crashing expectations, more expectations, crashing of those expectations. So be aware of expectations. Those are Ra's words. Be aware of expectations. They are all projections. Okay. However, turn that expectation into anticipation. But what happens is the conditioned mind goes into all these stupid ass fears about you know, oh, you didn't plan enough. Oh, what are you supposed to expect? Oh, did you do the research on this? How about just having an experience? How about just having an experience? Comprehending that, you know, you're in a rented vessel. This isn't the end all be all. And when you're moved by your desires, Okay, there's a response or there's an invitation or, you know, you're totally moved by it. There's this initiation that takes place. And your decision-making strategy and authority has moved you into this new experience. Trust it. What happens is that the, the mind gets in the way, it tries to keep you safe, it tries to protect you, it wants to get you in a bubble, it wants the status quo, it wants the same, it wants to just repeat your patterns over and over and over. Now, do you know where that comes from? Right here, spleen. The, the spleen or the instinctive knowing, this is, this is logic. This is where logic lies, and, 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 and the spleen's in logic. So the not-self, the, the information that is here in the spleen has been handed over to our, our conditioned minds, okay? And our conditioned minds have said, okay, uh, we, have to, we have to keep this body um, safe and secure um, while it's on this, on this uh, human way, and uh, by doing that, we've got to keep them in the same patterns, keep them in the same holding patterns, keep them the same, 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 same. You know, we, that, that pattern is uh, solid. It is, uh, mm, I know it, so let's keep them there. Oh, you want to have a new experience? No, don't have a new experience because that new experience might, you know, you, oh, you might break a wrist or uh, fall down a cliff or you might die. You might die. Yeah. And? 
if your strategy and authority, your decision-making strategy has moved you into a new experience based off of the correctness of who you are, stand in it. Death or not. Death or not. We get so hung up as human beings that we are going to die. Yeah, we are going to die. This is a rented suit. You know? The energetic continues to move on. So anticipate life. Anticipate what's coming to you. And just allow for the, that hunger to, to bring on some massive desires and fantasies and, and, and bring them to manifestation and fruition. But you don't have to figure out the how. Nowhere in here says, oh, here's, you know, here's how to get there. No. Mm -mm. The only how that is taught here <laughs> is strategy and authority. That's it. There is no, you know, oh, if you do this, if you do that, if you do this, if you do that, you'll get this. No. It's about trusting the strategy and authority and moving from your decision-making strategy, period. And just witness and be aware. We get so caught up. We're so scared. Let go of the fear. Let go of that fear. So I love this shit. Um, I could talk to you for days, hours, weeks, years. And uh, here, here's my design again. Um, if you want to contact me, feel free. But just relax and anticipate that great things are coming. The universe has your back. The universe completely has your back. You know, it's not void of challenges. It's not void of challenges. Because on the other side of the 4130 is, <laughs> you know, we have the 3828 over here. And what is that? Struggle. So anytime you see a keynote in human design, it's a part of the fabric of uh, the experience that we're having on this planet right now in these meat suits. So there is going to be a little bit of struggle, and it's okay. Because what that does is it gets you to really dive deep into your purpose. And purpose is not found. Purpose shows up. Purpose shows up. When you're getting the clutter and BS out of the mind and you're trusting the flow of your decision-making strategy. All right. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.